<laughs> yes, E.T. is getting his back blown out.
Are you smoking your socks? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? We just started. We just started. We just, we just started. What, why? What is, don't break me. We just started. I'm gonna let it finish. We'll start when it finishes. You guys are. Oh, Christopher. Viper eyes. <clears throat> We're gonna. If you're just tuning in, I have a feeling today is gonna be stupid. Just stupid. Viper eyes gifted 50 members. We just started. We're gonna let it play out. The stream will start. People will put the, the started in the comments. I can't start right now. This is... I was gonna... Why is it, why is it thundering? Thank you, Viper Eyes. This is a strong start. This is a little... Oh, my cat's... My cat's lost her mind. Um... Hey, don't try to escape. So, if you're just tuning in, Viper Eyes has lost his goddamn mind. It's absolutely insane that this stuff is happening. We're going to let it play out a little bit here because... In honor of what he has done here. So today, what we're going to actually discuss... <laughs> if we ever get to it, because you guys are insane... Listen, okay. I went to bed and missed the second half of yesterday's whale war. I look tired. Let me fix the light. Okay, well, <clears throat> rest in peace to my career. <laughs> it's, my career is over. It's over. I am the winner. My His career is over. Rest in peace to my career. Rest in peace. All right, so listen, the stream's already off. Nish is like, this is going to end. Okay. If you're tuning into the VOD, that sound will stop eventually. I don't think it will, but it will. Juicy Booch, thank you for the stealth again. Right off the bat, I appreciate Juicy Boochie. Juicy Booch last night lost his mind. Lost his mind. Made a huge... Here, this is what happened yesterday. I started streaming and then this happened. Mr. Awesome also gifted five members I'm seeing now pop in there. So let me just say Viper Eyes, thank you so much, man. 
you guys have no idea what happened. If you weren't here yesterday, something ridiculous happened. I'm looking at the stats right now, and yesterday's stream was the most support we've ever, ever got, ever. And because of what you just did, and because of what Mr. Awesome just did, are you guys ready to hear this? <laughs> We're at 1,699 members. I don't, even, I don't even know what to say to that. So yesterday they were like, we're going to hit 2,000. And I'm like, you guys are absolutely nuts. We're at 1,699. We're one away from 1,700 today. So let me just start off by saying thank you for the support. Oh, my God. This is... This is... This, I quit. I quit. I quit. I got my wrench purged again. Poo suit is. Hang on. Oh, I got bad news. I got bad news. I got bad news. I got bad news. The poo suit's being washed right now. So Hulk Hogan's giant taints. <laughs> you have an option here. You have monkey. You've got pig. Or Slow Sonic. Let me know in the chat which one you want. Take it out where it went. Listen, you guys are absolutely out of control. It's been five goddamn seconds. Slow Sonic. Deal. Oh my god. Five seconds. <coughs> I'm dying already. Oh God. Hang on, I gotta take my pants off. Jay's gonna cry on my brown balloon not again due to all of the support. My nipples are very hard for Jay's success. I'm Alan Wake. I lied.
What did I miss? <sighs> okay. Uh, all right. This this is ridiculous. Oh, Christopher. Jay's gonna cry on my brown balloon not again due to all of the support. My nipples are very hard for Jay's success. I'm Alan Wake. Oh, Christopher. Astro Zombies, thank you. So, I thought I was gonna have a normal stream today. I'm feeling pretty good. Last night was like the most support we ever got in my life. Today's stream is already off the rails. We are at the highest record we've ever been for memberships. Like we're at seven, we hit 1700 memberships. So we're 300 away from 2000. It's, I don't even know what to say. Thank you, Mr. Awesome, who gifted five memberships there. I appreciate that big time. Viperize says, listen, I went to bed and missed half the stream. Whale Wars. Yeah. You have no idea what happened last night. I don't even know how to describe it. So thank you to Viper Eyes who fell asleep. I did stream for eight hours yesterday. So that explains why some people could not tune in for the whole stream. Thank you again, Viper Eyes. Absolutely amazing. Today, actually, we have a topic that we're going to talk about. And that is video game collecting. Is it still worth it? So we're going to talk about that for the next five to ten hours. I don't know how long, long I'll be streaming. I appreciate everyone's support. Thank you for all the super chats. Everybody that's tipping. Everyone that's give, given memberships. Because of you guys, I'm able to do what I want to do on the show here. And on April 20th, I'm bringing in a psychic medium. And we're going to do a night investigation to see if there's a real ghost in this place. So April 20th, that's happening. The next announcement would happen in May. I'm going to be doing another ghost hunting stream from a costume store that also has a haunted house built into its basement. So thank you for that stream. And then we're going to have a reunion with Kat in May on May 25th on the show. Cat from Three Kilobytes is coming to stay with me, and we're going to stream. So that's happening. And then in July, I'm going to stream with the one and only Happy Console Gamer in Vancouver. So there's your announcements. More to come. Thank you. I appreciate it. How much till 3 a.m. silent? So Raw Dakota gifted one membership. Thank you. That put us to 1,700 technically. So Raw Dakota put us to 1,700 members. Thank you. Unbelievable. By the way, I've, I'm wearing nothing under this costume. So Christopher. <clears throat> Relax says, I got my wrench purged again. So let me address what happened. Uh, I'm not going to talk about it for the whole goddamn stream, but let's just bring this up again and make sure things are okay on this side. So I started streaming yesterday. Everything looks good right now. I started streaming and I noticed that there was a lot of people not in the chat over the last couple of streams. And I was like, that's not normal. Where is everyone? So somebody accidentally got banned the other day. So I went to the settings and one of our mods <laughs> decided to go into a past stream where you're allowed to still ban people while I'm not live. You can go and watch the replay. So one of the mods that I modded blocked a good portion of the people that support this stream. And I unblocked everybody and I unmodded everyone. So I hope everyone understands why I had to do that. Love your Jay. Met, thanks, man. Four, 412. I appreciate it, man. Really. Or woman. Seriously, thank you. Really appreciate that, man. Um, so, Met. Let me finish the story, Met. Again, thanks for the support. I don't know who did it. There's no way to tell. Somebody just went into a past stream. Completely banned everybody in the chat. That was everyone. Zaland, Viper Eyes, you name it. Mr. Awesome, Juicy Booch. Everybody was banned from speaking. 
So, I'm only going to be modding people that I really trust. And if it happens again, it happens again, and it's a smaller group. There's not much I can do about it. Obviously, I need some mods. Mr. Awesome, I trust. Juicy Booch. Everybody that's here, you know, I usually would want to trust everyone that's here. But I've just got to say, I can't mod everyone because I don't know who it was. So, I'm sorry that the mods have been purged. And I'm sorry that everyone's been unblocked. It's, there's not much I can do. So thank you for understanding that. Today, like I said, we have a topic. I actually have something to show that I found that has to do with the topic of this stream. We're going to have a lot of fun today. We're going to talk about if retro, <laughs> if retro gaming is worth it. Uh, so relaxed pegged anus. Thank you for the support, dude. I really appreciate it. And Hulk Hogan's taint. Dude, thank you so much for making me wear the poo suit. Also, my hair is like, that's my real hair. I don't know what's happening there. So Hulk Hogan's giant taint. I just want to say this to you. I'm assuming, actually, I'm assuming wrong. I thought maybe you'd be a wrestling fan, but I just want to say to you in case you are a wrestling fan, I watched some of WrestleMania 40 and it got me back into WrestleMania and wrestling. So thank you, dude. I appreciate the support, and as always, Astro Zombie, who's donated there, thank you for your support, continued support. You, you're crazy too. You're a whale. So, also Viper Eyes, huge shout out to you. Disable Mr. the live chat when you upload the VOD. Yeah, I thought about that, but was Pulse Attack here? I don't see him, but. Yeah, I can't do that, man. Because people like... They like that. Um, so... Mr. Awesome, by the way, thanks for your package again. I really appreciate that. I would do what you're saying there. But... You know... I'm not going to do that. I want people to be able to go into the chat and read the chat, enjoy the stream. Like a thousand people watched yesterday's stream after I uploaded it. It's almost at 4,000 views. It's the biggest stream to date. So I'm not going to derail that, but I appreciate it, man. And I love your package. Dude, I loved your package. And Lazy Jawa says, let's just play that one again. I P J hooped career. Yeah, my career's over, guys. So thank you for that. It's over. I I only unfortunately listen. Uh, yesterday on stream, I just also want to point out that I played some of my old hip hop music, and I got very emotional. And I cried. Um, I'm doing it again because I'm thinking about the beats. <laughs> but uh, realistically. Unfortunately, guys, I'm going to have to end the stream early right now. I only have, you know, I need a certain amount of members to be able to keep my career going. And unfortunately, I only have 1,700 members at the moment. So it's true. My career is, is dead. So RIP in the chat, please. I, uh, I wish I could stream longer. I appreciate all you guys. 1,700 members is just, uh, it's not going to cut it. My career's over, so. Thanks, guys. I'll see you, uh, I'll see you next week with, uh, VOD videos. I'm done streaming. Career's over. Bye, guys. Hang on, sorry. Yeah, hello? Yeah, speaking. Oh, that was projecting. Oh, my career's not over. Oh, his is. Oh, okay, thank you. Anyways, that was fun. Paul the Alien says, my wife, Alien Cozy. I thought, I read that as, I read that, I read that wrong. I thought it said, my wife, anal. Your Fire. Um, my wife, Alien, and myself enjoy your company last night. We'll send Number you a call. 15, Burger King foot lettuce. <laughs> what is that again, man? Paul the Alien, thank you, dude. 
He says, we'll send a tape. So last night, if you guys don't know, Paul the alien and his wife, named Cozy in the chat, they made a sex tape. And they're sending me a copy right away. So that's awkward. It's weird. Um, I'm looking forward to it. So thank you. Okay. Phil's Lost DoorDash Shrimp has subscribed. Phil, what a fucking idiot. Astro Zombie, that is, dude, I love Number that stupid 15, voice. Burger King Foot Lettuce. Blob Ross is here. Paul the Alien is here. Ducky is here. Silent Grace is here. We have J Ram, Bob, Blob Ross. Thank you. Juicy Booch, as always. Thank you, Juice. Love the juice. Uh, Julie B is here. Tower Dragon is here. Alpha is here. MKD69 Pro. Listen, that sounds like a Mortal Kombat game. I'd like to play upside down with you. Jesse is here. We've got uh, MRC Midnight. Appreciate you. Says, watching the stream last night. Was a rich follower for year, years. Now yours. Congratulations. 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 Thank you. We've got... Um, Ace Grab, that's your new name. Alice. Bartman's here. Appreciate Bartman. Let me know if my mom's got you any drugs. My super chat didn't play. Oh, shit. Wait a minute. Sorry. Dude, your super chat hasn't, hasn't went through yet. That's really weird. Um, hang on. Now, that, that is sure weird. Understand. Will you shut up? Did you hear Surrey? Always out of place. Dude, what the hell? That's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Hang on, we gotta go back to fan funding page here. Yeah, Enraged Gecko, yours is not, it didn't go through. Dude, that's the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life. Um, it should. It should still come through, man. We'll, we'll wait it out for a second here. If not, I'll read it for sure. But um, are we having issues again? Let me double check. Every time I stream, there's some Streamlabs issue, some YouTube issue. No, no one's banned again. Dude, that is the weirdest thing ever. Ge Gecko broke it. Guys, Gecko broke the super chat. Shout out to Gecko. So today we are going to have a topic. Um, we're going to just wait a second. I think it's just backed up or it's slightly delayed at the minute. Let me uh, refresh the alert box. Although I don't see it pop up. So let me test the widget. Yeah, it's... This is a test super chat alert. Yeah, it's, it's just delayed. Sorry about that. It, it happens... Trust me, it'll go through. If not, we're going to ban Super Chat in the chat, just so you know. Why am I holding this many ETs? So, the reason I'm holding this many ETs, Serial Vapus, listen, wake up, watch my stream. This collection I have here, who broke it? Enraged Gecko. Enraged Gecko had one job. One job only. All he had to do... Yeah, it's, it's unbelievable. All he had to do was Super Chat. And what did he do? He super chatted. And he broke the whole system. You're fired. Dude, I actually... I don't know why it's delayed. Hang on. Let me see if there's any errors or something. There's always something. There's always something. Hulk Hogan's Giant Teen donated as well, and that's delayed. I guess we're going to wait it out. Or you know what? I'll put a new alert box. Let's just try a new alert box. Hang on. I don't know why that would randomly not work.
Okay. It should be fine. <laughs> so, okay. I don't want anyone to actually donate at the second. I just want to know if you guys click the super chat button, is it allowing you to enter and all that stuff? Or, or something happened? Anyways, while this uh, gets fixed here, thank you to Enraged Gecko. Appreciate you. I will check on my end. No buffering here. Works for me. I did lose my mod, Glamorous. Yes, everyone lost their mods, unfortunately. Okay, okay, so it's working. Okay, so it's just delayed. I, you know, I, I can't... I can't see anything on my end why it's uh, stopped. So I will read the super chats at the moment, and then when it starts going again, we will get back to them. Um, but, however, I will do one quick check here to make sure that everything's okay. Yeah, in Ridge Gecko, I see it, and there's nothing wrong with my channel, just so I... Let me check my channel. Nope. So it's some sort of delay with uh, with the Streamlabs. I don't know. We broke it. Yeah. I don't know. Ones, any uh, theories on why we've broken the Streamlabs again? It's just not updating the stream. Now, is it updating it on YouTube? Let me see that, guys. Sorry, we're slightly derailed here because things are broken. No, I see it here. So let me just read it out. It's not going to make sense. Has the Streamlabs been delayed in the past? Yes, it has. But never like this. You know, um, it's really weird, to be honest. So if I see like this and replay it, let's see if it replays in real time. A certain man just uploaded a short of one of my super chats. Ironic now, isn't it? Also, everyone, make sure to join the Discord and link your YouTube. Okay, so it's back to updating now. So let me just uh, replay the ones that it missed. I, no, it's not even showing in the feed, guys. This is really weird. So there must have been some glitch in the matrix there. Enraged Gecko, sorry, dude. It's it's not showing up in the feed. He says, don't include... Z <laughs> don't include Enraged Gecko in the circle of trust. That guy's a snake in the grass. Enraged Gecko, thank you. And then Hulk Hogan's Giant Taint said, my anaconda don't, my anaconda don't, my anaconda don't. Want none unless you <laughs> buns on... Dude, he's singing the song. Why, why is it not playing those? This is... I apologize to the two people that super chatted and it's not showing up. I don't know what that's about. No idea. So, I, uh, I'll make it up to you guys. Let me... Well, here's... Yeah, like, what has happened, Jay, man? Jay, listen, you attractive man. Love ya. Probes. Thank you, Paul the Alien. I appreciate you, dude. Uh, let me just say this to Ones, and this is a personal message to Ones and uh, Sexy Coco. This is more more so Ones. The Endgame screen may have effed it up. The Endgame stream. Uh, what do you mean, Enraged? Let me know. Uh, Freak says, um, here's what he said. No, wait. Listen, play hip hop cry, fire your talentless editor, then assure yourself that you are talented by repeating it aloud to you, our audience. Let's go. Congratulations. You're fired. No, it wasn't that. It wasn't that, dude. Uh, th thank you, the freak, for that one. <laughs> that one's, uh, yeah, that one's obvious. I mean, I, YouTube yeah. YouTube needs a better way to handle mod some kind of paper trail. 
Tower, I agree. Thank you for the support, Tower. I really do appreciate it, man. Could you all stop breaking Streamlabs? It even <laughs> breaks for me when I'm streaming the same time as Jay. Bunch of degenerate lunatics. Jay, love the way you move. <laughs> Thanks, man. Kane's Corner, I hope you're feeling better, by the way. I know that you're under the weather. Uh, so thank you, Kane's, Kane's Corner. I appreciate that, dude. He streams as well. And Tower Dragon, thank you. Let me pick up the energy here. I'm a little like, you know. I thought I thought we actually broke the Streamlabs, which is not the end of the world. But thank you for supporting the stream and dealing with this nonsense as we're live. Okay. Yeah, of course. I Okay, let me get this out of the way. Ones... I'm going to announce this to Ones because I don't think he was here at the beginning. Ones, just want to say this to you. Because of your lunacy last night, we are now at 1,700 members. So you know what that means, right? It means we're invited to the sex shed and there's going to be sex in the shed. Paul, so yeah, we're going to get 1,700 people into the sex shed this Wednesday. So tune in for that. Appreciate it. So once we did it, baby, we did it. We hit 1,700 members. I don't know what else to say about it. As soon as we started the stream today, uh, Viper Eyes and Mr. Awesome and Raw Dakota gifted the memberships for us to hit 1,700 today. Thank you so much, guys. I don't know what else to say. It's the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. Thank you for the support. Why am I holding ETs the whole goddamn stream? Let me get back to that. Why am I holding these ETs? The reason I'm holding these ETs goes into the theme of today's stream. It's not just going to be me losing my mind slowly over the next five hours. It's also going to be a talk. Ones, don't start that right now. Road to 2K stuff. That's, it'll break me. It'll break me. Nothing makes my day better than waking up to see Jay in the pursuit. Hope oh, your day is going great, Jay. Oh, Chris Christopher. Gothy, thank you so much for the support. I'm glad the poo suit brings such joy to you. I hope you're having a great day. Hope you're moving good. I hope you got some pancakes in your stomach. Thank you. I really appreciate it, Gothy. So... The reason I'm holding these is because this stream is about collecting, but mostly about retro video game collecting or physical game collecting or magazine collecting, which I'm going to show off in a second here. Or if you collect uh, women's bodies and you put them into cages or women's hooker bones, I don't know what you collect. What do you collect that you still think is worth it these days? Let me know in the chat, number one, on that one. Number two, if you guys could all like this stream... I really, really, really would appreciate it. You know why? Because of this. Now, these guys, I want to show these off quickly so I could talk. We could get into some actual discussions together today. Uh, Nervous Greg collects feet pics, but he doesn't have mine. So. Congratulations. SIV says I collect Blu ray movies. So do I. It's expensive, man. It's dumb and expensive, but there's a reason I love doing it. But I'll get to that in a second. So my collection of E.T. dolls started when I got this E.T. doll at Too Many Games Expo in Philadelphia maybe eight years ago. As soon. No, that's a lie. I got this in Toronto at a, a retro toy store. Would you cover up your dick? God damn. Hang on. So that's, that right there, I love what they did because they gave him like a, a hard face, right? But this is actually the oldest one I have. This came out the day the movie came out. So it goes, this is the oldest. As you could tell, he's, that does not look like E.T. I don't have a date on this, but I'm assuming it's um, 1980. Well, what year would it be exactly? 
It was made in, um, it was actually made in California. Um, and then the next ET that's oldest would be this one. This guy comes from the year. This actually is from Universal Studios lot, which is crazy. There's no date on him. I don't think he's from the 80s, though. He's, I mean, look, <laughs> this is the 80s. This guy is not from the 80s. And then we have this one who's, who's actually from the 80s. He's from the 80s. He was the upgraded version of this one. So, yeah, I collect these guys because I'm a huge fan of E.T. When I look at them, I want to kiss them. I call them my sons. It gets really fucking weird, especially when we do this. How are you? How are you? Hang on. How are you today, E.T.? Looks like you need a kiss. Does E.T. need a kiss? E.T.'s may need kisses. Look, they mean... E.T., are you okay too? This is... They all need kisses. This is my family. Hang on. Let's... <laughs> Let's go. Ready? Okay. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do my own joke. I can't do it. Okay, let's just pick one. Which one would I kiss? Um, definitely not the young one. That's really weird. I'm gonna go with this one. How are you? How are you, E.T.? You good? Good buddy? Good E.T.? <laughs> I'm not kissing E.T. Goddamn perverts. You guys thought the sex shed music was playing because I was going to kiss an E.T.? I'm actually going to kiss my pumpkin, though. Right on the tip. There you go. All right, so we're off the rails. We're off the rails already. Uh, appreciate everyone tuning in. Today, we're going to have an actual discussion Rather than me just going, oh my god, one's two cents is absolutely insane. He's going to pour chili into my breasts. Uh, just so you know, I'm not wearing anything under here. That's man hair. That's literally man hair coming right out of here. See that? That's white, white man hair. So just letting you know. Yeah, Cyril Vapus is really nice out. What is, what's happening here? What did you just do? What word begins with F? And ends with a fire truck. What word begins with P and ends with on popcorn? Jet your head out of the gutter. Hulk Hogan's giant taints. Thank you. <laughs> You're absolutely crazy. It's absolutely amazing outside, by the way. It's like 5,000 degrees right now outside. So. Thank you for the support. I appreciate it so far. You guys are legendary. Am I going to do... Robert wants to know in the chat if this is an all-nighter stream. Look at this. Look at that. That's some man coming through there. That's a man. For God's sakes. Uh, what's the weather like? Hey, Siri, what's the weather like out? It's currently windy and 14 degrees. Okay. Um, sexy Coco, seriously? I got your text message. Seriously? I've never, never had issues. That's crazy, man. Okay. Okay. Let's look into this. Okay. I trust you. Done. Um, Okay, so tomorrow, just so you guys know, just so you guys know, tomorrow, which is uh, Sunday, I've got all the stuff for Hot Pot. So let me show you what that is to give you a sample of what's happening tomorrow. Okay, ones. Yeah, if you haven't seen the... Um, if you haven't seen the new Fallout show, you guys are missing out. I watched it twice now. Holy crap, you could see my... 
Okay, here we go. So, One's Two Cents knows about Hot Pot. If you don't know what a Hot Pot is, it's essentially a soup that boils. It's got a lot of flavor to it. It's not necessarily a soup. You don't want to drink it, but you can dip things into it. Hot Pot is unbelievable. You dip um, all sorts of stuff. Vegetables. I've got all sorts of stuff for yesterday. One's, look at what I got. Let me just show One's this. Ones, I got that, buddy. That right there is beef ribs. Beef rip. Beef, like, rolled up, and you put it into the hot pot. Oh, so good. Let me guess. One says meat. He says yes. So, so tomorrow we're doing sour cabbage hot pot. We're doing a cooking stream tomorrow, multi-camera. Hope you guys tune in. And then we're doing the classic flavor of hot pot. This would be the, the one that everybody knows. If you're into hot pot, you've had this before. Yeah, ones. Totally. So, hope you guys... Oh. What is happening? Got my hair in my own mouth. Hang on a second. This is terrible. So yeah, tomorrow we're doing Hot Pot. Appreciate everybody that will tune in. It's going to be at 2 p.m. EST. Probably going for four hours tomorrow just talking and eating Hot Pot. I've got shrimps, just so you know. I got breaded shrimps. I'm going to put those in the oven. I've got the beef rolled up, which you can grill or drop into the soup. I've got green onion, white onion, a very fancy carrot that looks like it's straight out of an anime, cabbage, mushroom, and this. What is it? Oh, yeah. And I got... Pork dumplings, dill, and pork dumplings, which we can grill on the side of my grill as well. So tomorrow is going to be a feast. So I hope you tune in tomorrow for the feast. 2 o'clock EST. I got all the ingredients. We got all the soups. Please say you bought lotus. Lotus is for geese. So it's going to be great. So I hope you tune in for that. So here comes a story. Yeah, but, ah, well, okay, whatever. Um, I trust you guys. So let's begin the stories. Nish has no stories, okay? The stories are canceled. You're let's just sit here and stare at each other. How you guys doing? Nish, sorry, Nish canceled the story, so. We can't do it now. All right, story time. So the name of the stream is, should you still collect video games in 2024? D, nice to see you, Jostler. Jostler's going to stare at my asshole. I don't know. So here we go. Story time. As you guys know, I've said this in some of the streams in the past. I've wanted to collect things, but ever since February 17th, I was like, nah, I'm going to stop collecting things. I'm going to like pull back and not spend any money on really anything. In the last, since February 17th, I think I've bought maybe five Blu-rays and just games for the show to review. And other than that, nothing crazy. I bought that light that you see behind me. That is up on the uh, top balcony there. Mr. Mew, what's up? And other than that, I really haven't spent... Well, I did spend some money on the show. Let's be honest. I bought this desk. I bought that stand, that TV. Uh, yeah, I spent a lot of money on the show, which totally has been perfect for the show. However, just recently, I 
had this like sort of need. I don't know what it was, but I was like, I wish I could find like some old Nintendo Power magazines. I talked about it in the stream and since you asked, yes, I'm doing better. Oh, How nice. Good drugs dude. and slept felt so much better. I worked on clearing out the junk room. So my wife will have her own crafting room for collecting. I collect game uh. series rather than systems. Oh, nice. You collect series. That's awesome. Uh, Kane's Corner, glad that you're feeling better, and I appreciate the support, dude. So he collects... See, that's what I find interesting about this, what we're going to get into today. He collects game series that he really gets into, right? I do that, too. I got Yakuza series, all the Mario games, obviously, uh, Legend of Zelda. I love those things. Portable Ham, what's going on, dude? Rabid, what's going on? I collect calories. <laughs> So, what I wanted to do was go out there and find some Nintendo Power magazines. I thought I would, like, find one or two, right? I never thought I would find what I found. So, I'm about to show you what I found. I, so, first and foremost, I'll tell you how this happened. Also, Portable Ham Sandwich, thanks for the, uh, the 99. I, I appreciate you. You're a goddamn legend. Alice says I collect warrants. Alice is, like, such a... Alice, by the way, Alice yesterday was like normal for the whole stream. And then randomly she's like, hey, by the way, the last thing I just said, I was taking a shit while I typed it. Congratulations. Congratulations. Which is fucking hilarious. Thank you, Portable. Appreciate the support, dude. So I went to this store, which I'm also going to stream from. It's an old retro video game store, but also an old retro toy store. I didn't think about asking about Nintendo Power magazines. So this is also a lesson about ask everything. Don't go into a store and be like, eh, I don't know. I'm not going to do it or I'm going to do it. So I basically walk into the store in town, which I'm going to do a stream from. And I talk to the guy about streaming from there. And I'm like, yeah, da, da, da. I don't collect. Yeah, I'm talking about Dark Matter Games, Serial Vapist. So I, I'm leaving the store, and I turn around, and I go, Hey, wait a minute. Do you have any Nintendo Power magazines? And he's like, uh, Yeah, there's a whole shelf. And I'm like, Are you kidding? So he's, he's expensive in there. I'm going to be honest. It's slightly expensive for a lot of the stuff. So I'm assuming that they're going to be the price that they should be. So each magazine, usually in Canada, 20 to 25 to $30, even if it's just a standard magazine, right? Like a standard issue that doesn't have anything special. So I get to the side to see how many he has. Yeah, okay. He's got a stack like this. And I'm like, how much do you want for all of them? He's like, eh. He's like, five bucks normally is what I would do for all that. So I'm thinking in my head, okay, that's $200. You know, maybe about... 10 of them is probably $200 in Canada at the moment, but it's 35 so that's a decent deal. So I just said to him, um, would you do $3 a piece? And he's like, yeah, cool. And I'm like, okay, deal. So I paid $90 Canadian, which is $60 US for what you're about to see. James K, what's up? Holy shit, you're an hour in. I didn't know about it. Sorry I'm late, Jay. I, um... I was busy watching a slow person in Sonic. Oh, dude, you're watching the other stream? Thank you. So I got this. This stack of Nintendo Power magazines for $60 US. So what happened after that was I obviously carried them all the way home and ones and I and Sexy Coco, I should say. We looked at some of these magazines to see the cost of them. And he told me the price in US. And every one of them's worth minimum $20, $25, $30 US. And I got this stack. And I'll show it again here quickly. I got this stack for $60 US. So let's go down memory lane while I ask you guys some questions here. Alice is amazing find. I am so happy about this. Some of these are 15 to 20 years old. 
So when you start to look at them, you're just like blown away by the old covers. You know, this is when Sonic, well, look at the date, T June 2010. Not a single duplicate, by the way. None of the pages are stuck together, Felt. So this is from June 2010, 14 years old, basically mint condition. Look at the condition of this thing. We got the back cover, which was forgotten sans back then. Look at that. Wii U, sorry, Wii and D, like, I can't believe this. Nintendo DS, any 90s issues. Um, I'm going to look through it. I'm not sure. Not a single duplicate. So, like, let's just go through some of these quickly. And I mean, like, this is in mint condition. Look what game it is. That is absolutely insane to see. Sin and Punishment for the Wii. That's, like, one of the best on-rail shooters for the Wii back then, man. So, this is from 2010. And I'm just, like, going to kind of peruse it quickly so you guys can see some of the other ads that are in here. Um, yeah, like, this is insane. What's the review in the, uh, in there? Oh my God. Mario Galaxy 2. Okay. Next magazine. This is from August 2008. What's up, Justin? Justin, the police officer is here. Look at this, man. Mad World, 20th anniversary issue. Absolutely insane. Still has the uh, insert in this one, which is a bunch of cards. Uh, let's see if we can get any cool ads right out of the way here. Here. July 22nd, 2008. Final Fantasy IV is coming to the 3DS. Mint condition. So going through these magazines is just like a trip. So let's pick it up here a little bit. Next up we have Crystal Chronicles. 2009. Mint condition. Subscriber edition. Nintendo Power. Look at this. It's absolutely insane. So you open it up and it's just every page is just like a throwback to your childhood. It's just like, wow. Okay. We're looking at that right now. I, I mean, it's just harvest moon for the three D like the, the DS. So let's keep going here. Next up. This is from 2007. <sighs> Mint condition. I paid $3 for it. Guess what's still in here? Look at that. Holy shit. It has... This has got to be worth something. 2006. In the middle of it has this. A, a comic. Still in it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. The poster's in here. Oh, holy shit. Look at this. <laughs> holy crap. You know how rare this shit is? That's, that poster is from 2007. I didn't know the posters in some of these. Guys, that is insane to see. Next up, Soul Calibur Legends from 22, 2007. I hope you guys are enjoying this. I just wanted to show them off a bit. Oh my god. The fucking poster. Are you kidding me? What the fuck is this? Dewey's Adventure. What's that? I don't even know what that game is. Konami. So the posters are in some of these. Okay. 
Wait. Let me let me double check. So that's two. Let me put those aside. That's two with posters. Let's see. Okay, you can normally feel it when you're like. Wait a minute. No. So that one. That one doesn't have the poster. This one doesn't have the poster. Sonic doesn't have the poster. Okay, next up. Real Steel 2. This is from 2009. It also has a, a bookmark. What is that? Wait, this 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 might have the post. No, this doesn't have the poster. That's just like a sticker. Okay, so this one does not have the poster. It's this is absolutely crazy. Um, Two thousand and seven again. Mint condition. What does one say? Jay, pick up the last one and look at the back of the poster. You'll be surprised. Dude, why? Was there something on the back of the poster? What the hell? I didn't see that. Look at the fucking back. Contra 4. Dude. How did you know that? Holy crap. So that was amazing. Check it out. Oh my god, look at this poster. Oh my god, wait a minute. Heroes of Mana. Guys. Um. Holy shit. Chocobo poster on one side for Chocobo Tales. But look at the other side. Heroes of Mana. Holy crap for the Nintendo DS. So some of these have the posters. See, I didn't check. For some stupid reason, I didn't check to see if the posters were in here. Okay, let's keep going. Um, next up is from... By the way, you guys find this interesting or... You know, it's kind of amazing. 2011. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Poster. No. No poster in this one. Okay. Oh, holy shit. This is from 2010, but what's amazing about it is the 250th issue. Look who's on the cover. Okay. Poster? Poster? No. Unfortunately, no poster on this one. Okay, next up, we've got 2007. This is when No More Heroes was like freaking crazy. I don't have any chill music to play, sorry. Put on some chill music on your end. Oh, we got a poster. Oh man, that is nice. Soul Calibur Legends. And then on the other side, we got a wide angle version of it. So this is this is absolutely crazy. This is why I wanted to show you guys. So there are po oh man, is there a poster in this one before I show it? There is. There's a fucking poster. This is from 2007. By the way, if you're on the Discord, send me a photo of your collections. We're going to look at some of your collections after this. Here we go. Here's this poster, which this actually brings me back to when I was a kid, man. Also, I got to change out of this goddamn suit. So on one side, we've got some crappy poster, but on this side, we have a wide angle Arsenal, Acme Arsenal poster. Do you remember that game? Holy crap, man. So I didn't realize they have the posters. Sonic RPG? What is this from? This is from 2008. 
So I'm not sure what game they're talking about. Sonic Chronicles, the Dark Brotherhood. Okay. Let's go. Oh. Ones. Ones. Guess what it has? Sonic Raiders. And Sonic Raiders 2. Oh, man. Mint condition. Dude, I didn't realize that these... I gotta go change my uh, clothes, man. I'm dying in this. Give me a second. Okay. Ones is like, these are worth more than I thought they would be. How's everyone doing? Hope you guys are enjoying this. We got, uh, you know, another bunch of these to go through. I don't know how much some of these are worth. We should probably look at how much they're worth at some point. That would be interesting to see. Okay, let's keep going here. Castlevania Portrait of Ruin. 2006 almost 20 years old let's go does it have a poster dude is this poster what i think it is it is holy crap guys this poster is insane so this is a collection of artwork that people sent in Look at this Nintendo Power fucking poster. Look at that. But on the other side, it's all artwork from people that sent in artwork to the sh to the magazine. So that one's amazing. Yeah, you know what, ones? I think some of these are probably worth a little bit more. Okay. Next up, 2006. Let's see. Does it have a poster? Of course it has a poster. What is it? Let the battle begin. Oh, man. Look at that poster. You guys know what that is? How many people know what that poster is? <laughs> Do you know what that poster is? Holy crap, man. Did anyone get that poster? Dragon Quest? No. Here we go. That's insane to see on a Nintendo Power magazine. That right there is Chinatown Wars Grand Theft Auto. This came out in 2008. Does it have a poster? Yep. What do we got? Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, what the? Wait a minute. Dude, look at this poster. It, like, it folds out. I'm not going to open it, but there's one side. Look what it is. It's like, it's a double, double height poster. I've never seen those. 
Okay, we got a Rabbids copy here, which is, you know, that's from 2006. So here we go. This has another comic in it. So that has a Pokemon comic in it rather than a poster. So this one's kind of beat up slightly here. Let's see if it has a poster. No. No, it does. It also has a poster. How? What's the... Oh. Oh, shit. I may have a poster for Johnny Millennium. Dragon Quest Rocket Slime. Look it, man. <laughs> I didn't know that these had the posters, man. These posters, some of them are just... They're worth money, just the posters. Next up, this is from... Okay, this must be really old because I don't know the date. Um, this is volume 190. So, I'm guessing this is from... Two thousand four. So this is one of the oldest ones I have. It has the poster. What is it? Obey? Wait a minute. There's a fucking Obey poster in here? For Atari? What is that? This this might be worth something. I don't even know what it is. Look. Weird, eh? I'm sure one's is going to tell me when we come across one that's like worth a lot of money. All right, here's a classic one. This is from 2009. New Super Mario Brothers. By the way, I hope you guys are enjoying this. Let me know in the chat. This does not have the poster. No. No poster in this one. Final Fantasy 4. May 2008. I'm glad you guys are enjoying this. This is just like, I just want to have a little bit of fun and just show what I had found. Okay, let's see if it has a poster. Uh, no. That one does not. Ninja Gaiden, 2008. Let's see if it has a poster. It does. And it looks like it's a, it's a Rabbids one. So it's the double length one, which I'm not going to undo. And it, it's only on one side. So that one's, you know. Okay. I pray to God this has what I think it might have. July 2007. Look at the cover. Resident Evil 2007 for the Wii. Cross your fingers. Project Treasure Island. Working title. From Capcom. What the fuck is that game? Did that ever come out? It did? How was it? Jay, can you do a video where you look through the pages on a few uh, using an overhead camera? That'd be made, like amazing. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Okay, here we go. 2006, one of my oldest copies here. Here we go. Does it have a poster? <laughs> it has a poster. None other than Children of Mana. It has a Children of Mana poster. Are you ready? Holy crap. Look at that. That is... A lot of these are... Um, dude. That is... <laughs> that's a crazy one to have. Children of Mana. Next up. 
Nintendo Power. This is when Sonic and Mario had sex during the Olympics. This... J.I. started skateboarding again after 15 years. Oh, did you? Dude, that's crazy. Congratulations on getting back into it. I hope you're having a lot of fun with it. I, if I started skateboarding right now, I would die. Okay, so this is crazy. This was... Doo -doo -doo, 2008, mint condition. Nintendo Power used to put ads wrapped around the front of their magazines. So this front that you see is not the actual front. That's just an ad for Ultimate Band. However, if you go to the first page here, guess what this is? Oh man, look at this. This is the Animal Crossing issue. Animal Crossing. So let's see if it has a poster. It's got something here. What is that? Switch shot EX nerf. Oh, it's it's got a stupid nerf poster. So this this is a this is what they did? Oh no. It's just an ad for a a nerf game. Oh man, I was hoping for like Animal Crossing poster. That would have been unbelievable. Yeah, it doesn't. But like look what's in here though. 2009 Raw versus SmackDown for the DS. Okay. Here's a here's a big one. This is a big one. 2010 The Return of Donkey Kong. Does it have a poster? It does not. Somebody took the Donkey Kong poster out of here, I'm sure. Now, it does have an amazing article. Check this out. The boys are back. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, man. Next up, we've got one of the worst covers ever. 2010 February. I believe that was the return of um, NBA Jam. It has a poster. Oh, man, look at this. Super Monkey Ball. Super Monkey Ball double wide poster for the, the Wii. And on the back side of it, it is a Sonic fucking racings poster. Look. Sonic All-Stars poster. <sighs> This is crazy. This shit is crazy. I got this for $60. Look at this. Next up. Unbelievable. Ready? 2009. No poster. Next up, we got Nintendo Power from... Oh, this is old, guys. 2005. This is 19 years old. I would say it's a solid condition wise, maybe a 7.5. It's got a little damage on the back. This is the oldest one I picked up to date. Wait a minute, what's this? Stick to what you know, peel the back for a secret message. Guys, this might be worth something. What the fuck is that? It's like a Pokemon trading card game, but you unstick things and it reveals something. That might be like, I don't know what that is, but there's stickers. And guess what? It's got a poster for the one of the worst games ever. Yay. The stickers are for your Game Boy. Oh, are they? Wait. No, it just says, this is a sticker pack. So it says, peel back for a secret message. You could win a Pokemon trading card game. 
Um, just peel back the logo and reveal the secret message. Then go online and give us your answer. Weird. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look at this. There's no date. That means it's old. Okay. This is one of the oldest ones, guys, so far. This is 20 years old. You ready? Star Fox Assault with the survival guide for Resident Evil 4. Does it have the... What the fuck is that? Oh my god. It's got a... It's got a WarioWare Valentine's Day card in it. Look at this. What the hell? Is that have the poster? Wait a minute. What was that? Oh, God. Look at this, guys. Guys, I'm, I'm getting weak in the knees. Look at this. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. Dude, I really hope DK Country Returns gets ported on Switch. At Same. least we got Tropical Freeze. But we need more DK. I agree, Living Legend. Thank you for the support. I appreciate that, dude. So, that was... that. Okay, wait a minute. I spoke too soon. Issue 191. This is from... This is... I'm about to show you an episode. Uh, a magazine that's 23 years old. It's in very good condition. I'd give it a 7 out of 10. Are you ready for this? The original... The original episode where they showed the 3DS... Sorry, the D, Nintendo DS, I should say. Not the 3DS. The original DS episode or magazine. I call, I call it a fucking episode. Now, it also says... All new Zelda screenshots. Okay, here we go. Cross your fingers. If this has anything crazy in it, we're going to lose my mind. We're going to lose it together. It's got something, guys. It's got something. I feel it. It's a poster. It's a poster. Hang on, what's this? It's time splitters? Here we go. Here we go. What is it? Oh my god. 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 I could feel it in my plums too, Cereal Vapist. Are you guys ready? Oh my god. Unfucking believable. Oh my god. <laughs> Do you know what it's like to have that poster? It's sad when you have to refer to Peter Jackson's King Kong. The official game is the Good Kong game. It came with the second poster, guys. It's like a matte finish poster that's actually shiny. And it says, touching is good. Look at the ad for the DS. This, this is the coolest one yet, man. Also, new screenshots to Zelda. Where is it? Let's see what the screenshots were. Guys, this is like the most fun I've had on stream yet. Can you believe that reveal? Oh, my God. Um, hang on. I'm just going through it here to see. I sh I'm going to make a video on this, I think. I'm going to make a video and show off what we've got here. That poster, though, <laughs> I I landed a Legend of Zelda poster that is so, that is just, my cat took a massive shit. That's all I could smell right now, so that's great. I'm going to put her in a fucking burlap sack in a minute. Raymond DS. So I don't, I don't know what page it was on. Guys, this is just... That was nuts. Hang on. 
New Zelda screens. Let's see them. What page? So many ads in these things, but I love looking at this. Okay, special features. Wow. Zelda GameCube pullout poster. Don't drool. So it doesn't actually say where the screenshots are. So that's what's crazy about this, man. Going through the old school stuff and just being like, okay, let's just see out the, the layout for the, for the most part. The layout of these is just like looking at it, sitting in bed and looking at this stuff. I know it sounds weird, but it's just amazing seeing it. Also, it came with like some cards or something here. It's crazy. So that magazine right there is one of the oldest. I don't think I got something older than that. Uh, let's see here. No, nothing's going to beat that one. Next up, this is from 2011. Nintendo Power 2011. We've got a poster. What is it? Super Monkey Ball 3D. That's kind of cool. My mom would have liked that. So again, we've got like 10 more here. Appreciate you guys looking at all this stuff. Thought you would appreciate this. 2008 holiday special. So if you look on the cover there, we've got Animal Crossing, some Monkey Ball, some Sonic, some snowboarding. Here we go. Let's open this bad boy. We've got a poster. And it is for Pokemon Ranger Shadows of Al Alamia. So I don't know if that's worth anything. And then on the back side, we've got another poster. It's actually a... Actually, wait a minute. This might be worth something. Ones. Is this like worth something? Because it's a double wide one. I don't know about this. I don't know anything about Pokemon games on the 3D... Um, on the DS. It's from 2008. So that might be worth something. Not that I'm going to sell them ever. Now, here we go. 2006. This is talking about the Wii U collection that's online. Let's see if it has a poster. It does. And the poster is... Uh, the poster is a calendar. So the calendar shows big events. Wait a minute. Holy shit. Guys, this is a fucking... This is a 2006. Listen to this. This calendar is full of events and activities, both in Animal Crossing and in real life. There's a fucking Animal Crossing... An Animal Crossing calendar. So let's look at February 17th if anything happened. Nothing. But dude, this is insane. On Saturday, February 4th, there's a flea market all day in the game. That's, this is insane to look back on this and be like, what did Nintendo plan? April, what day are we on now? April 13th, nothing. On April 10th, there was Flower Fest all week in the game. That is nuts. Next up, we've got 2007, The Sims. Let's see if it has anything good. It's got a poster for Sega. It's got a Sega poster. Don't know what that game is. Alien Syndrome. Why? Wait a minute. Alien Syndrome poster? Look at this. Wow. Venom, what's going on? Nish, appreciate you. Okay. We've got a few more, guys. Okay, Nintendo Power from 2009. This is when Indiana Jones showed up on the uh, Wii. Here we go. Let's see if it has a poster. Doesn't feel like it. No poster. Wait a minute. No. Okay, next up we have... We have the 2009 RPG Special. Fantasy... Fantasy Star Zero, Arc Rise, Fan, um, 
Fantasy. Fantasia, sorry. Uh, Dragon Quest V, Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon, and Sands of Destruction. Look at all the character designs, man. That is like... That is ridiculous. Does it have a poster? It doesn't. What's crazy is like some of these don't have a poster. Nope. All right, two more episodes or uh, books. 2010 Holiday. This is the Kingdom Hearts Recoded issue. However, if you look at the cover, that is the ad. But here's the actual cover, guys. Oh, man. Look at that. Does it have a poster? Nope. Man, I think we got we lucked out on all the posters. Okay, last issue. It's got an ad. What's the real cover? The real cover is Avatar. Oh no. Okay, here we go. Does it have a poster? No. It's got no poster. Unless they moved the poster. No, they didn't. All right, so that's anticlimactic. That's an anticlimax. No poster in the last episode here. No. And that right there, guys, is all of it. Ian Hunter says, Jace, I started skateboarding 15 years ago. By the way, guys, if you guys want to send me photos of what you guys collect in the Discord, join the Discord right now. There's a link to the Discord in the chat. And ones, is, ones will put it up. So he says, I started skateboarding after 15 years. That's amazing, dude. Living Legend said, dude, I really hope DK returns. Just port it to the Switch. At least we got Tropical Freeze. We need more DK. I totally agree. I got to do say, though, I'd love a 3D remake of the original game and expanded. Enraged Gecko said, it's sad to see that you have to refer to Peter Jackson's King Kong, the official game, as the Good Kong game. Yeah, dude. It is. Uh, that's embarrassing, isn't it? Let me take a quick second to clean my cat's poop. I'll be right back. Because it stinks. She stinks. Listen, have your cat take a shit. Have the shit smell. Clean up the shit while you're live. Do you want this sent to your house? Gotta wash my hands. Bro, I'm gonna send that food to his house. So, let me know if you've sent some photos of your, uh, let me know if you've sent some photos of your collection to me on Discord. Thank you for the support today already. You guys are insane. We're at 1,700 members, which I just keep looking at that thinking, 
That must be a mistake. I think I think it's actually a mistake. <laughs> Every time I look at it, I'm like, yeah, that's not real. So I I'm going to check the discord now if anybody sent me anything here. Okay, Adam Adam W in the chat sent some stuff over. Let's open that all together here. So yeah, I want to check out some of the collections because I was going to have a discussion with you guys today about collecting and if it's still worth it. Oh shit, look at his Oh, look at his Nintendo Power magazines. I would kill five people for these things. Look at this. You ready? Unbelievable. He has... Dude, I would kill six people for this. He has volume 62, 51, 39. What's that one? Can't read it. Um... What's his earliest one? 28. 25. Dude, Adam W. How much you want for that? Five bucks? <laughs> that is... Colezilla, thank you, man. I also have all these um, Legend of Zelda books as well, which I absolutely adore. I love them. But Adam W., my uh, my P.O. box is on screen now. Feel free to send those over. I'll send over that $6 right away. Thank you, Adam W. Appreciate you. It's a good deal. Don't look at the prices of what you got there. It's not very expensive. So just send those right over. P.O. box is open. I'll give you 30 cents per issue. So let's see all he has. Here is his movie collection. I see some Game Chasers there. Game Chasers season one, two, and three, and four. I'm in season four, so I want residual payment. And then we've got his horror movie collection here. I see Turtles, Texas. Dude, we've we've looked at your... Adam W. has just double-crossed me. He's not... First of all, he's not giving me a good deal on his Nintendo Power magazines. Which... Dude, that... Like, I'm looking at it. It's got to be worth six, seven bucks, right? Six, seven bucks max. So send them over. Okay, thank you, Adam. We got Kane's Corner who's sending over a photo of something insane. Dude, what did you make? Did you make that? So if you guys have collections, send them over now. Uh, I'm going to message Adam W. in his chat on Discord, and I'm going to say, uh, I'll give you, I'll give you six bucks for the Nintendo powers, question <laughs> mark. All right, so if you have a collection, send it to me on Discord. <laughs> Let's see what Adam says. Adam says, sounds like a great deal. <laughs> Okay, this is from Kane's Corner. Dude, where did you get that? It's obviously um, a repro. Does it actually work? That's crazy to see, dude. Again, if you want to send your collections over, join the Discord, send them over my way. Do it now. Send it to me now. Touch me now. Let's go. Yeah, I don't have any other ones to show you at the moment, but thank you. Appreciate you. Wait, who's this? What's this sound? That was scary. So let's get back on to the topic here. In terms of collecting, guys. That name in the chat's funny. 
In turn, I'll take a picture of the Holy Grail. Do it. Now, back on topic. Let's just talk about this for a second. Does Do you guys feel like collecting video games nowadays is even worth it? I'm kind of curious to see how everyone feels about that because we're dealing with we're dealing with a lot of different uh, things at play here. So let's discuss this. If you're going back old school to the Nintendo days, every Nintendo game is worth so much money. Like it's absolutely insane. So it's looking at it, you're like, is it even worth it to get into game collecting when you could just like emulate an NES game? So why do we still collect? That's my question. That's why I showed the ETs, right? Why do I have the ETs? I always thought that if you buy something at the mall, within 10 years, that thing you bought will be worthless. Like absolutely worthless. Oh, check this collection out. This is from... Who's this from? This is from Impending Doom. Yeah, so how's everyone feel about that? Let's see what they say in the chat. I would say that collecting nowadays, guys, especially in Canada, through the roof. For me to find those Nintendo Power magazines like that, yeah, they're not like super old. That is just absolutely insane to find, man. Though Some of those are probably worth 50 bucks, 30 bucks. Let's check out his collection here. Nice collection of NES, dude. Got some classics in there. All right, what do you got? We've got the original Zelda. We got Adventure of Link, which a lot of people don't like. Wrestle, WrestleMania Challenge. Ninja Gaiden, Ninja Gaiden 3, Double Dragon, I see, Star Tropic, Star Tropic, holy shit, Star Tropics, Metroid, look at that, Ghosts and Goblins, Pro Wrestling, ba is that Batman, I see, maybe not, Street Fighter, Super C, Fester, listen, Fester, congratulations, and then nice, decent Switch collection on the right, Except for 1-2 Switch. You should probably throw that out immediately. Shouldn't have that. So what do you guys say? DS9 says, I've always had to collect video games. Very casual because the money was tight. But I do love owning them. So explain to me why you like f owning physical. You guys know my collection back there. It's a stupid amount. Why do I need that many games? If I want to play one of them, I should just go buy it and then sell it. But why do I keep that much stuff? Why do I have so many Blu-rays? Why do I have so many, um, you know, PS5 games already? I, I'm kind of thinking about these things and I'm like, I don't know. I don't know why I collect some of the stuff and how much money I've spent on it. Like it's a stupid, stupid amount. All right. One's two cents has sent over the Holy Grail. Look at this, man. What the hell? His, this is one two cents is holy grail. Let's check out what he sent over from his collection. Ready? So one's two cents has an original, original, original wing commander three heart of the tiger. Look at that. Look at who's on the cover. He, he's showing us the back here. Mark Hamill. John Davies. Malcolm McDowell. Tom Wilson. And a bunch of other people I don't know. 3D, four discs, three hours of live action video. Directed by Frank Savage. Produced by somebody I don't know. I don't know any of these names. Frank De Palma. I wonder if that's De Palma's brother. Actual screens may vary. Look at that, guys. That's crazy, dude. Thanks for sharing that. I know nothing about Wing Commander. Mr. Awesome has sent over... Uh, Punisher? Punisher? 
Punisher for the Genesis? Is there something special about this one? I don't know. Juicy Booch. He's sharing something with us now. Check that out. That's pretty cool to see right now. New cola, berry flavor. No nuts. Drinking on stream right now, Juicy Booch. Look at his nail. Look at how clean that... Look at the clean cut on his nail at the top here. I give that a solid, like, 8 out of 10 cut. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. Just when I thought we would not see something crazy from the collection out there. There's something crazy. Are you guys ready for this? This is this is fucking crazy. Kane's Corner just sent this over. I mean pfft. How do I get back to my inbox now? God damn it. You guys ready for this? This is, uh, this is silly. This is from Kane's Corner. Look at this. You guys know, does anyone know what that is right off the bat? That is. Oh, some of you guys do know. You smart little bums. You gorgeous little bums. Look at you bums. That is that is amazing to see. That is just I'm looking at it on the other screen here. So let's zoom in on that, man. Wow. So you obviously have it plugged into a cool little thing on the, I thought that was part of it, but one, two, three, four, five, six, we got a CF card reader. I think that's a SD, something SD card reader, GPI resets. That is crazy. How did you get that, man? Juicy Booch says, what a lovely piece of equipment. DH says, I love being part of the community where we all know what most offhand random shit is. JKB chat is elite culture. <laughs> totally agree. Serge X says, that's pretty awesome. Serge X says, I've never seen that. Crazy. Got to know people in the industry. Kane's Corner says it was $750 pounds. And was alpha and build bundles with a book of spells on it. Jesus Christ. That is, that's the coolest thing I've seen today, man. That's crazy. <laughs> yep. <laughs> we have a winner. Gabriel says, I'm jealous of that. So how's everyone enjoying the stream today? I hope everyone's having a good time. Just looking at something here. All right. So did I miss anything? Dude, hope DK. Um, just checking the super chats. We're good there. Ian said I started skateboarding. Thank you for that. Gothy. Thank you, Frank, for the uh, support today. Enraged Gecko, thank you for the support. Living Legend. Ian Hunter, thank you. So here's... Living Legend says, I uploaded my collection just now. Where did you... Where? Discord? Okay, let's go there. I don't see a message from you. Um, let me know when you send the message over. I don't see a message, sir. Uh, 
Coolzilla in the chat says, I'm trying to sell ones my sealed copy of Wing Commander 3. Ones, listen, buy it or you're fired. You're fired. Try refreshing. Uh, send me another message on Discord. I, I don't see it yet. The Freak. Okay, I see it. Message request from somebody. Let's just check this one out. I don't know who this is. And then the Freak sent some stuff over. Would you you put stickers on things? Dude, you got like crazy amounts of collector's editions. Okay, let's check out this. Somebody's got an anime collection here of figures. I know I don't know anybody here. Um I think that's Xenoblade on the right. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Are any of these characters from Xenoblade Chronicles? I know Pikachu. I know Dragon Ball. I don't know. I don't know any of the other ones. I uploaded my collection just now. Awesome. I don't see it yet. Check out this box. Holy crap, that goes back old school. I see a target there. So that's the PlayStation 1 combo. I'd love to own that thing, man. Five inch LCD screen. How much do these go for right now? Let's look it up. So PS1 combo Canada. Let's see here. Retro game stores, Final Fantasy. Um, ba -ba -ba. I don't see one. Here's one on eBay. $500. What? That doesn't make sense. Yeah. W what is happening? PlayStation 1s are going for $500, $200? No. In Canada. That's... Let's look it up together here. How is that possible? Okay, here we go. How is that possible? Play, let's do it prop properly. PlayStation 1 combo Is it even coming up? PlayStation 1 with screen. Let's see what it was called. With screen. With uh, PlayStation 1 with LED screen. That's probably the best one to search. Ready? Oh my god, guys. The prices on this is stupid. Pre-owned, $275. Pre-owned, $100. That's not terrible. Um, but that's from the UK. Search sold for actual value. Yeah, yeah. Let's see what's actually sold. Okay, let's let's see what's sold. Sold one. Oh, man, that is getting so out of hand. A hundred and seventy-one dollars for a fucking PlayStation with a screen on it. Ten have sold since April. Uh, two ninety-nine. That one's more like it, but that's also fifty forty bucks shipping. What is this? See, this is why I don't get into collecting. Yes, the item is sold, so you can't look at it. I get it, but are you kidding me? Uh, $500. $550 plus $71 shipping. Two bills, two bills. 
Man, I would love one of these, but... Man. I would... I'd love one of these just to be able to play it. You know, like, set it up somewhere and play it. But look at the prices, guys. Like, this is what I'm talking about. You can't get into collecting. You get into collecting and it's like, oh, look at this. $329 sold. Just get a mini and, and uh, yeah. This is all Canadian prices, by the way. So yeah, I'll never own one of these. I'll never pay that much. I'd pay like $60 for something like this, but like, look at it. Yeah, I, I'd pay $60 for something, but not this much. This is just... This is just silly. These aren't scalped, no. Well, you think this is crazy. Watch the prices of this in Canada. Watch this. Are you ready? Breath of the Wild in Canada, sealed... Oh, this is signed by him? That's not a bad price, actually. I'm buying three of them. Okay, so open. Let's see what uh, this goes for sold right now. Sold items. $900, $700, $1,200. That's sealed. $1,300, $1,300 for one game. So it's like you want to get into game collecting. Good luck. Like right now. I've been searching for, um, watch this. Jesus Christ. Okay, here we go. These are sold prices. I'll never own it. I'll never own it. It's like my dream to get this back in my collection. But this is like the dumbest prices. Sold on the 12th. I don't want that one. I want the original one. So how much is it? $481 if you want to get the complete in box with the map, with the the stickers and all that crap. Now, if I just want to get it with the manual like this, $300, man. I'll never own this again. $300 complete in box with map. The map is important to have there. It just kind of reminds you of just being a kid. Uh, let's see what the let's see what the highest one is. So yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Just not <laughs> just not being able to afford these things. So let's see if there's one over $480 that's sold. Here we go. Look at this, guys. Over $480 sold. $500, $600, $100 shipping. Oh man, look at that. A 9 out of 10... A thousand bucks somebody bought that for. Here's a 885, 8 8.5, a thousand bucks. Um, um, what? S sold on February. Are you seeing this? A $16,000 Canadian graded at an 85. See, this is what I'm talking about. Living Legend. Cool. Let me know if it's up. So this is what I'm talking about. It's like, if I ever want to own this game, it's not happening. Like, I just want the box and a manual. Like, uh, what? Link to the Past Four Swords, a 90 gold, $2,750. Okay, let's, let's look up that one. Knight says, look up Final Fantasy. So, Final Fantasy 7. Jay, look up 7 Factory Sealed Black Label. Okay, Final Fantasy 7. Let's just look up Final Fantasy 7 PS1 Black Label. You ready for this? Game collecting. These are all sold. These are goddamn sold. What is this? Sold on the 5th. Black label, new, sealed. 
one two thousand four hundred dollars guys graded that makes no sense somebody bought that somebody just bought that seven thousand dollars what this is just fucking crazy so as you guys can see nightbreaker thanks for the support by the way dude as you guys see can see watch this legend of zelda if you just look up Legend of Zelda stuff, like recently sold items, um, let's let's look up like seven hundred dollars. Did something sell over that? Okay, okay, that makes sense. What the hell? Eleven thousand dollars. New sealed link to the past. Are you seeing this? Sold. Oh my god. And that looks like an original seal. It's got the seam. I remember holding this thing in my hands back in, what was it, 2000 and, or sorry, 1994. Okay, wait a minute. Are you seeing this, guys? What the hell is that? No, these are sold items. They they would not be listed unless they were sold. A 10 graded Link's Awakening sold for $1,100 for real, legitimately. A Link's Awakening. That is absolutely okay let's let's get crazy here let's go to let's go to a thousand oh this is gonna be crazy a 90 breath of the wild first print two grand a majora's mass sealed graded nine three grand it's like Guys, like, I get that you can collect, you know, but I just don't, I don't know. It's like, we're so, we're so, like, watch this. Nintendo Entertainment System. This is how much they go for in box right now. The Super Set sold on April 13th, pre-owned. $1,500 from the UK PAL version. Okay, wait. I, I just bought one of these. The analog. Let's look up mine. Analog. Uh, pocket. Glow. I own this thing, okay? Let's uh, lower the price. Okay, I, I paid a lot of money for this. I'm not going to lie. So these are sold items. Let's just make sure it's on sold. Sold items, okay? I bought this thing. I paid about four something. So that's not a bad price. Five fifty for a sealed glow-in-the-dark edition. I showed it on stream the other day. Sega, what's going on, dude? We're just checking out prices and just having some fun with retro gaming here. Um... Thank you, Nightbreaker and Living Legend, for the support. Appreciate it, guys. This is crazy. $600 sold, man. Wow. $700 for one of them. Oh, man. Is this one hacked? Screen protector on. So, yeah, everything you want to collect nowadays is just so much money. So, let's just look up Link to the Past, NS. What is the cheapest I could get it for? Let's sort by lowest price. So you can get the game for $22 here. That was sold. The manual's $13. let us see what the cheapest one in box was. It looks like... Wow. Uh, it's crazy how many of these sell. Let's go to page three and see if we're up there then. 
No, it just keeps going, keeps going. We're up to like forty-two dollars, fifty dollars. So you're still gonna go up to let's go up to six. So we're up to. Oh man. So yeah, you're not getting it over fifty. Okay, let's do this then. Uh, minimum hundred bucks. Maximum whatever. Ready? Okay, here we go. That does not have the main. That has the French version. Ooh. Okay, that's without the box, so that's not terrible. A hundred bucks. Very clean, no manual. I can get it for a hundred there. That's fucking amazing. Holy shit, ones. Ones, can you order me 16 of these right now? Look at that. That's a tattoo I want to get, by the way. Um, JR uploaded to collections in general chat. Lol uploaded it in the game collections thread before, but everything is in general. Okay. Can you send it to me as a direct message? Holy shit, once two cents just sent me some photos. We'll check those out in a bit. Can you DM to me? Do me a favor and DM that to me, dude. Living legend. You've got me on there, don't you? Um, so just going through here, look at this. Uh, authentic box, $130 sold. Yeah. I'm thinking I'm thinking it's probably with the with everything, I'm gonna have to spend $175. Let's put that in and see if that. And that's that's not even something I'm gonna do ever. I'm just like, let's put 150. 150. Duh, duh, duh. Yeah, there's no shot, man. So that's what I'm talking about. If you want to get a boxed version of the, just this one game, it's gonna be two bills, and that's not even with the map. Like, look at this. This is just insane. So it's the game, the ball. I can't believe I used to hold that in my hand and now I don't. Top secrets, that's crazy. The map, the manual. Then he's got some close-ups here of, of everything else, but the map is so, I, I gotta own that map again one day. Wait, maybe I could buy the map only and then frame it? Let's see. Okay, map only. Oh shit. I can buy the map pretty cheap, guys. 40 So that's got 5 bids, closes in 2 days. Wait a minute. Maybe I spoke too soon. Also, that would be incredible to own. So the map goes for 60 bucks on its own. See what I'm talking about? Uh, he says buy it. It's not for sale. That's just a that's just to uh, bid on it, man. Even the map, even the map in Canada is like ridiculous, guys. Um, so that's not happening anytime soon. Okay, let's go to general chat, Mr. Awesome. Mr. Awesome just sent this over. Uh, I think he has an addiction. Dude, what is going on with this? Explain this in the chat, Mr. Awesome. That's crazy. Why do you have so many? Like, it's just, you just like collecting them? Lorelei. Sorry, that's not Lorelei. Why did I call Lorelei? Um, Jay. Careful, Jay. You don't know where those things have been. Maybe... Someone has practiced voodoo on the map. You'll be inviting all sorts of pose into your home. <laughs> this is a nice collection. That Resident Evil 2 is nice. That's original. Resident Evil 1. Final Fantasy. Look at that. Final Fantasy 7 right there at the bottom. Three discs. I wonder how much that's worth sometimes. All right. General chat. Let me go to the general chat. 
Oh yeah, some of you guys are just like putting your collections right in the general chat. Um Oh god. Nish says he hasn't bought anything on eBay for five years. Oh. So it's, for some reason, it's not reading that. Let me, um, let me see if I'll, if I can get it to read. It's so delayed today. Okay, it's not going to read it for some reason. I think it's... Whatever. Jay, did you hear about the digital copy of the crew being removed from PC? I heard about that. Um, it's now more apparent that digital copies are basically rentals to use for... Uh, paci Pacific. Specific software and game. Yeah, that's that's the downfall right there, isn't it? Do your Alan Wake voice. Jay, did you hear about the digital copy of the crew has been removed from PC? Guys, it's crazy. So if you guys don't know, the crew, which is... Okay, it's now it's going to drive us nuts. The crew, which is an Ubisoft game that came out like 5, 10 years ago. I really enjoyed the game, but Ubisoft has decided to remove it from people's libraries without asking them. And when you try to load the game in... It literally has a message that you should go to the store and keep continuing your adventure. I'm not making it up. I'll show it right now. The crew removed. Watch this. Um, do we have it? So... Do I have the official story of it being removed? Here we go. Check out this story. It's absolutely insane. Ubisoft reports... Rem Man, did I do that? I, I did it because I clicked it 16 times. Sorry. Ubisoft reportedly removing access to the crew from buyer's account. Some gamers take the social media to reveal that they've apparently lost access to the crew after its recent delisting and server shutdown. So if you go through here, access has been revoked from Ubisoft Connect users who previously purchased the game. Some users uh, equate the removal access with theft and say... They received no warning that it would happen. When the cruise servers went offline, some players were able to get refunds, but only if they purchased the game recently. This is like scary. So he says here, I'm getting reports that people are having the crew revoked from their accounts. I'm not sure if, I'm not sure if this even matters since they can't play it anyways, but still. Some people are getting, um, so this guy says, I managed to get a refund for the crew one, um, for $94, but that is like, so it came out in 2014, it's 10 years old and they're, they're literally removing it from your library. Like, let's just discuss that for a second, guys. Imagine buying a game that you love. Forget it. Forget it. Forget that it's the crew. Okay. Imagine you bought Stellar Blade now for the PlayStation Five, right? And you adore the game. You absolutely love it. You're gonna love playing it for the next 10, 20 years. Could you imagine all of a sudden you go to that game you love? Like, imagine for me, I went to go play, play uh, Digital Breath of the Wild, and Nintendo pulled it from my store, or my library, I should say, and the store. So that's what I was getting at for this stream. It's like we, we collect all these things and sometimes I understand why we collect a lot of this stuff. But this story right here is absolutely disgusting. 
Ubisoft is going into people's libraries and removing the games. That's like a level that uh, I can't believe. Actions like Ubisoft's are why piracy thrives. Yeah, that's another thing we should bring up. You know, it's like Birdman. Thank you for the support. By the way, thank you for all the super chats, all of the um, memberships we've got. We've got 57 new memberships today only. So thank you for that. Thank you for everyone that's hitting the like button. And then thank you for everyone that's supported the stream with a super chat or a tip. I really appreciate you guys. So thank you for that. I see a few coming in here. Birdman, thank you. He says, the actions of Ubisoft are why piracy uh, thrives. And I totally agree with what he's saying. I totally agree with what yeah, he's saying. it's marked as inactive in my play account. There you go. Andrew says, yeah, it's marked as inactive in his Ubisoft account. And he's got a little shit face next to it. Andrew, thank you for checking that out. So are you telling me right now that you can't even play the game? That is like... That is disgusting, man. I used to like Ubisoft back in the day. I reviewed a ton of their games. Um, by the way, I put in a, a call to um, Sony to try to get Stellar Blade early. It might happen. It might not. We'll see. Living Legend says, uh, check your DMs. Okay. Holy shit, dude. How am I supposed to go through all this? Can I can I show your can I open the Discord separately here? I guess I can't. Um he he just sent me like 5,000 photos. Let's look, okay, hang on. We will open them all. Hang on. Okay, I'll, I'll open most of them. That's a cool collector's edition. Where's that opening? Dude, what is that? Oh, wow. That's cool to see. What's that? Okay, let's just keep going. I think that's God of War. Okay, I'm selecting a random assortment of your games because we can't look at all of this because I'll kill myself if I have to open them all. Um, dude, I like what you did with the, uh, controllers there. Okay. Okay, let's check out what he has sent over. So this is a map for, well, we all know what this is for. Man. It's crazy seeing the artwork still, man. Then we've got, um, I think that's, those, those are called skull caps, aren't they? Or am I making that up? He's got his Genesis. Uh, crazy. Here is some special editions. I've got that R-Type. Got that one too. Uh, R-Type is great to have, dude. Um, that is God of War, isn't it? Guys, what is this map? Come on, somebody name this map. Let's see. That's God of War 3. Look at that, man. That is like an original demo disc for the PlayStation 1. That goes way back. These controllers? Look at that. How did you get those? Those are so fucking amazing. DualShock 4 throwback. Um, does anyone know the poster? Dude... You got a lot of old stuff here. 
Living Legend says Walmart. He got him from Walmart. Crazy, dude. That is absolutely crazy. Dude, I'd love... I would love to have that controller. That's like one of those things that you look back on and you're like, damn, I wish I really bought one of those. Oh, well. Cheetahman says, I also wanted that see-through PlayStation 5. I know exactly what you're talking about. Uh, I'm trying to think like what if I have any like really cool stuff that you guys haven't seen. Um, and I don't think I do. Like the only other like obviously I own all the mini systems, Genesis, Super Nintendo, Nintendo. Um, I don't really have anything left that's like crazy now in terms of collecting i did buy two more things dude that zelda map again i wish i had a zelda map uh recently here's what i got recently i bought this stuff because it was on i found so here's a story i went i walk into eb games or sorry gamestop in canada now and they have a whole slew of Amiibos. And I'm like, what is going on? The Amiibos are back in stock? Which, I know, a lot of people don't give a shit about the Amiibos. I love the Amiibos. I have a pretty decent collection of them. Not really, like, uh, everything. But I've got pretty cool ones that I really wanted to own. Actually, I think I've got... Um, let me check. So, here's here's the ones that I consider to be, like, must-own for me. Other than these ones, I didn't really go crazy with the Amiibos. Uh, I, got, I got a few more in the other room. I'll grab them in a second. But, um, they're, they're dirty. So, the reason I went and got this one, obviously, it was the one Legend of Zelda one that I didn't own. So, I had to go and grab that one. Uh, I grabbed that one just recently. Now, everything else you're about to see is pretty old now. And the one that I'm like so happy I own, this is the one that I really, 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 really needed to own because I'm a huge fan of the game uh, series. And this is something I've been like looking for forever. And I got this, I think, last year at the end of the year ish. This, the double pack. Oh my god. That is that is the best thing I own. Why do I have why do I have Isabel here? I don't why is Isabel alone? I don't know. And then yeah. 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 Pyra? I'm in love with Pyra. Like Oh, I want it. No. Oh. And then, uh, another thing I did, which is crazy because I love the game, it would be the, all, all of them, the Monster Hunter Rise packs. I can't help but get the dog and the cats. Like, these guys are so adorable. So I got him in his armor, and then I got the cat as well in armor. This is from the, um, the Sunbreak expansion. Well, I just broke that one. And last but not least, I have... Uh, everybody had to buy that when it came out. But yeah. So, I didn't go crazy on Amiibos. I've got a few more I could show you here, but, you know, everyone already knows what they are. 
Ganon doesn't search the internet because there's too many links. <laughs> Zelda finds her heroes on Linkedin. So, so last but not least, these two, these two were actually sent over. Sorry, Hulk Hogan's John Taint. Thank you for the support. What did you say? Ganon doesn't search the internet because there's too many links. Okay, we got to listen to that one. Ganon doesn't search the internet because there's too many links. Zelda so, finds her heroes on LinkedIn. It's so stupid. I love when he sends those dumb things in. Thanks, man. Thanks for making me laugh at that one. Uh, I had to get these two. Now, these were actually gifted to me by a friend in the UK. Uh, these were like must-owned for me, obviously. So... Yeah, those those are amazing. Glad I have those. I have more, but they're all like the standard ones. Not really a big deal. I also have a ton of like Amiibo out of their um, packages. So, um, the, so I did go to the mall yesterday. Um, there, so as you guys know, I have a huge, massive collection and it's unbelievable for Blu-rays, right? For the, uh, Scream Factory Blu-rays. So two of the ones I ordered like six months ago, finally came back in stock at White Oaks Mall in London, Ontario. So I went to go pick them up. Upgrade showed up in 4k, which is incredible. And then, of course, Child's Play, which is also in 4K. Some people out there really hate this movie. I, I don't mind the remake, to be honest. So I went to go pick these up uh, two days ago, I think. And for the most part, the reason I buy these things really is because of the special edition stuff. I love watching it in 4K, don't get me wrong, but... This has commentary, so I love listening to that, just listening to the, like how they actually produced the movie and made the movie. But if you haven't seen this movie, guys, check out Upgrade. It is amazing, an amazing, amazing um, film. So that right there are the two that I picked up. Um... Mr. Williams says, why was I unmodded? Uh, message ones or sexy Coco on the server, and then they can explain what's going on there. Mr. Williams. Okay. I, I, I still can't believe this. Is my cat losing her mind in the background? She is, isn't she? Look. That is, that is a drug lord right now. She's lost her mind. So basically what happened was, again, I'll just make it short and sweet. We had to purge all the mods yet again. We uh, All the blocks are... It's just a shit show right now. So if you're unmodded or you're modded or you're wondering where your mod went, all that crap, all of it will be figured out in the long run of things. The problem right now is just figuring out who can be a mod and who can't. And we got to do it slowly. So I, I appreciate everybody understanding if they're not mods all of a sudden. They're like, why am I not a mod? Blah, blah, blah. You guys get the idea. So I appreciate it. Thank you for that. 
I've been watching the Chucky series. Not much, um, not like the movies. Yeah, the Chucky series is completely different than the movies. So how's everyone doing today? It's we got Saturday. Yeah, Mr. Williams. Yeah, thanks, man. Robo Taco is here. Alice is here. Thank you. Uh, one says thank you to those who understand what we had to do. Yeah, dude. Let, let me just be blunt with you guys and explain what really happened here. So I didn't realize this, but for the last couple of streams, I think like Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, leading up to Friday, I didn't know what was going on, but I had a funny feeling because there was a lot of people that weren't in the chat who are usually in the chat. Like Zalen wasn't there and and um, Robo Taco I hadn't seen for a while and Bartman and people that are here now, right? Sue, Sue asked, do you like the Fallout show, Jay? I'm doing a review for it tomorrow. I absolutely love the show. 9.5 out of the 10. I think it's one of the best adapted uh, video game series of all time. The three main protagonists are interesting. It's riveting. You're sitting at the edge of your seat trying to figure out what's about to happen. And every time something happens, you're like, well, that's not what I expected. And also when you think they're not going to do something and then they do it and you're just like, oh my God. Cheetah Man says, I know it. Like Cheetah Man was blocked. M. Dimitri was blocked. So I'd streamed during the, um, the eclipse and then I did another stream, a late night stream. Anyways, long story short, I was walking around and I was like, people are missing. It's so weird. And I randomly, um, yeah, Justin was blocked too. I randomly went to the block thing and so many people were blocked, like hundreds of people that watched the streams. So that's why the views were low a little bit and there wasn't many people there. So I'm like, there's no way to fix this. I have to unmod everybody because what happened was the mod who did this blocked everybody during a replay. That's how it happens now. Just so you guys know, to be clear, it didn't happen while we were watching. It happened during a replay. The mods are able to go into the replay and see a live chat feed and they can block people in that feed as well. So Jay has a massive collection in his pants. A collection that I am dying to get my old gums on. Come here, Daddy J. <laughs> my good gum. Oh. <gasps> it's. Is it over? Dude, that is so gross. That was so gross. That was the grossest one to date. Oh my god. Nightbreaker has stolen it for the day. Right now, Nightbreaker has the grossest message we've got to date uh mr williams says one bad apple spoils the bunch they say thank you mr williams appreciate the support yeah dude i really thank you dude but it's it's absolutely crazy let's play that again that's this is disgusting Jay has a massive collection in his pants a collection that i am dying to get my old gums on come here daddy jay <laughs> what is my what is oh my god <laughs> that's the that takes the cake nightbreaker congratulations dude that is the grossest one i've ever seen why do i look so tired today oh maybe because i stream for 20 hours yesterday dude i'm excited that's in my pants thank you for that Nightbreaker, that is just, uh, that is unbelievable. Shout out to Viperize who started the stream with a, a ridiculous donation. I can't believe it. That's, <laughs> that's still the grossest one. Oh my God. I'm looking for something that happened the other day, but it will not go that far back. Why is Patreon stuff showing up here? That is, what the fuck is that? Okay. Yeah, something is definitely wrong with the super chats. So just so you know, 
That is the grossest one. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's showing Patreon. I used to have a Patreon for the show seven years ago. And I had like 20 members or something on it. And it's like showing me in the feed on Streamlabs that they subscribed seven years ago. Congratulations. Okay. One's two cents says show my shit. He's not talking about what's in his pants. Here we go. Let me open it all. Dude, I know nothing about this. Maybe you could walk us through this as we show it. Dude, I can't show all this. It's crazy. Okay, I'll show a bunch of it. Hang on. I got to get this set up. One's toilet cam. No nuts. Dude, I can't believe you have this many. Gasp underscore male Billy. <laughs> <laughs> Generic. Oh my god, you guys with the stupid TTS stuff. Listen, let's let's have some fun and just change the voice. Let's let's change the voice to something we've never used. Let's see. No, that that's too much. Um The Golden Sun. No, that's that's when nobody is around. There's got to be a good one here. Do not get it twisted. Do not gamble. Do not. Sexy Coco is a man. Sexy Coco is a magic man. He makes all that chili just for me. When he loves my brown balls, oh, sensually. Well, that happened. Um, let's go. Oh. You should never take advice from someone who thinks red paint dries quicker than blue paint. I love. Okay, we're switching to ASRM guy or whatever the hell his name is. There we go. I love that guy. I love that voice. <laughs> I don't know why this makes me laugh. Let's see if it'll play it properly. Shit. Nope. Wrong voice. You gotta up, you gotta refresh here. Let's see what it sounds like. J Stop. Play the right one. J God damn it. I broke it. I think I broke it. I just broke it. You're Congratulations. Fired. Guys, I broke it. Sorry. J -ha I don't know. It'll change eventually. Okay, here we go. This is one's two cents personal collection of... How many times have I been fired? Like 50. Oh God, here. So here's his Spider-Man collection. I know nothing about it. So maybe he can explain it to us in the chat. So this is, this is issue 187. It looks like this is the one where the vulture puts its beak up his ass. The next one is like, Valentine's Day theme. The next one's X Force uh, with a bunch of men, and the next one is Funeral Arrangements Part Two. Uh, the Vulture's next vis victim, Aunt May. <laughs> the next one, Warriors Adventure. That looks like uh, fucking Obby went on an adventure and tried to kill us all. The next one looks like because that's I don't know if you've seen Obby. That's what he looks like. The next one is the Avengers have sex with Spider-Man. That's crazy. The next one is like Junji Ito draws Spider-Man. And then the bottom right one is Spider-Man and Moon Knight have sex with the Punisher. That's a weird one. 
Next up, we've got Web of Spider-Man. That's where he just shoots into the corner. And then a big bald man in the back there. I think that's Kingpin. That looks like uh, the guy that fired me. You're fired. And then uh, Spider-Man's just jerking off onto himself, onto his hair here. That's weird. Next one, we have The Demon, which I know nothing about that. DC, The Demon. I'm unleashing every terrible thing your mind can think of. Can you take it? That's what he's talking about. Okay. Okay. And look at in the background, they look like they're covered in white stuff. So that makes sense. The Frankenstein monster. It looks like the guy from fucking ghouls and goblins is fighting the, the incredible Hulk. And then the next one, we've got Spider-Man trying to mount. I think he's trying to mount Ghost Rider. And he's shooting his webs. So there's that. Okay. Next up, we have Spider-Man... And I think that's Craig from Halo Infinite, right? That's Craig. And he's in a new suit, so that's weird. Also, Spider-Man's jerking off his arm or something? I'm ve Wait a minute. Why is Spider-Man's arm like his arm? I don't know. The next one, Batman versus a fucking ghost. Demon ghost. That's What is that? Ones, who's that ghost on the right? That's pretty fucked up. Then we have Spectacular Spider-Man fighting the Green Goblin. And then in the background, it looks like a two-year-old drew the Green Goblin. Then on the right, we have The Punisher Final Days, Part 7 of 7 Requiem. It looks like, I would say Dr. Manhattan is performing an autopsy on Sp Superman? Anyways, I'm just trying to guess what these are. Okay, so we have two issues of that. Next up, we have The Name of the Rose, Part 3 of 7, Web of Spider-Man. The Terror of Two Goblins. So we're talking about DP. So Spider-Man's about to be DP'd by two goblins in that episode. Next up, we have Ninja Fire, which is highly satan satanic. Hail Satan on that one. X-Force. So we have Cable, who's about to, like, give it to some guy with a sword. And then some chick's going to film it in the corner. I don't know. Next up. Weird Wars Tales 1, starring the creature, Commandos. So it looks like a bunch of demons are trying to have sex with a bunch of guys on a, a, a truck. And they're shooting at the demons, but they're still going to come, literally. The next one, we have Captain America versus a bunch of guys. And Spider-Man's about to be taken from behind. And it looks, like a, it looks like maybe Captain America already took that guy there. Okay, next up, we've got WizKids. So th this dude in the corner who's Terrence Who is about to film two white people have sex as they recycle. That's a weird one. Next up, the web of Spider-Man. Looks like some guy's using like a sex pump ray on Spider-Man. I don't know. Very confusing. Next up, we have Elf. Now, that's what I'm talking about. We got Elf Warrior. It's essentially a, an, I think it's a man? Once, what is this? She or he is holding a lightsaber and there's a demon about to grab his ass? I don't know. Okay, next up we have web of spider-man it looks like yeah i'm pretty sure it's like a three ways about to happen and venom is about to lick someone's ass i don't know then we're back to ninja elite so we have three ninjas who just broke into terrence's house to steal his ribs and then finally we have we have uh spider-man joins forces with the a very terrible organization, it looks like. We're not even going to get into that one. Anyways, thanks for sending those ones. Congratulations. You're fired. Those were uh, great comics to look at. I have no fucking clue what we just looked at there, but thank you. Appreciate that. Kane's Corner has sent more photos of his current PlayStation 5 collection and his PlayStation 6 collection. 
Here we go. Thanks for the support, guys, by the way. I always like to say that. Make sure you guys know that I like you. I like to look at you. I like to watch you sleep. This is about this stream's about to go off the rails. And by off the rails, I mean drugs. Okay, let's see what games you have. The Order, 1886. That game was actually underrated. Let's be honest. Next up, Final Fantasy XV, which I never even played. Next up, we got God of War Ragnarok. I, I that's that's where he like goes into the woods, but it's snowing and he has sex with somebody. We have uh, Horizon Forbidden West. We have the Technomancer. Tech Tech. Yeah, the Technomancer. Not sure what that is. Uh, I don't know that game. Medieval. That's a good remake. Last of Us Part 1 and 2. Eh. We got Final Fantasy Remake. That's a cool collection. Rebirth. That's a nice one you got there. Gravity Rush Remastered, man. Gravity Rush 2. I totally remember playing those, man. Yeah, you got no Elden Ring. You're fired. And we got Kingdom Hearts, Kingdom Hearts, Kingdom Hearts, Crisis Core, and then Remake Intergrade. Nice collection, dude. And then on this side, we got Escapist 1 and 2. This is actually a story about Terrence. Uh, Terrence used to kidnap women, um, and they got away. Two women, and that's their stories, part 1 and 2, The Escapist, oh, wow. right? Next up, we have Resident Evil Origins, which is a pretty good pack. Uh, if you can get through Resident Evil Zero. Terrence, I'm kidding. That was a joke. Who was? Who was? Who was? Who was? Uh Okay, next up we got Resident Evil 2 Remake, Resident Evil 3, Resident Evil 4, 7, Village, 7 Ways to Die. That's that's uh, Terrence's motto. That's what he used to say to the lobsters before he would unfortunately kill them when we had lobster dinner together. He'd always say, you know, I'm killing you this one way, but you, there's 7 ways you could die. Next up we got uh, Demon Souls, which is also Terrence's nickname as a murderer, allegedly. <laughs> We got Elden Ring, who, you know, I, I never will play that game again because it reminds me of people I don't want to think about. We got Dark Souls Trilogy. That's a nice little set you have there. That's probably that's probably a good um, price game at the moment. Divinity, Original Sin. That's based on Terrence's uh, ex-wife. We've got Crash Bandicoot. It's about time. God of War. Bloodborne, man. I, I hope we get a remake of that. Wonder Boy Dragon's Trap. Nice. Detroit Becoming Human. Something that Terrence can't relate to. And last but not least, Assassin's Creed and Fallout 4. Nice collection there, man. Thank you for sending that over. Appreciate it. Okay. Uh, oh, Terrence is here. Oh, I didn't know that. He's Terrence isn't supposed to be here. That's that's weird. Absolutely insane. Okay, next question. Now that you guys have these collections, how many of the games percentage-wise will not be able to work in 5 to 10 years? That's what I'm curious about because I own a ton of Switch games as you guys know. And a lot of them... <laughs> a lot of them require updates, right? And I'm scared that in like five or six years... <clears throat> in five or six years, I'm scared that like... We will not be able to... <coughs> use the games because they're going to require an update. And if that happens, that sucks. Let me message my uh, roommate, see if he wants to have tacos for dinner. Uh, how long have I been streaming? I don't think I'm going to go full tilt today. It's been three hours right now. Um, Who was? I will be back tomorrow at 2 p.m. I'm not leaving just yet. Let's just confirm if we're having dinner. Okay, let's see. Can always take you guys to tacos. Actually, is my phone? That's pretty charged. I could start a stream called Taco Adventures. 
Hey, bud, do you want to have tacos for dinner? You want to eat them? You want to eat them together in your room? We could look at each other and we could have we could have extra hot sauce on our feet while we look at each other. Let's see what he says. Let me see if they are available for delivery. Well, we could also go there, but see if they're, yeah, if they can deliver them, make sure you get extra hot sauce for our feet. Because again, I just offered to look at you as you eat them. <laughs> yeah, he seemed excited. All right. He, I think he just killed himself. Do it, go to tacos. Yeah, actually, if they're not available for delivery, we'll have to go to the taco place. And if that's the case, I will lie. I'll stop this stream and start a new one called Taco Adventures. And we'll just go there and we'll just go there together. Although I don't know if the uh, service will hold for the whole time. They are not set up for delivery via skip the dishes. Sir. All right. So what does that mean? We would have to go get them. Well, we could if you want. It's up to you. So that's my impersonation of my roommate. Aren't you still streaming? Well, what I was thinking is I could stop this stream and then I could just stream from my phone and call it Taco Adventures. I would I wouldn't point the camera at you, of course, but we could do taco adventure streaming. Sure, we can do that. Okay, let's do it in uh, soon. How about at eight o'clock we leave here? Shiny. Okay, so that's what we're doing. We're gonna do taco adventures, guys. I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't even know if anyone will watch. It's just, it's just going to be me driving to go get these crazy tacos. And then um, I think, are we going to eat there? Are we going to eat at the restaurant or bring them home? Totally up to you. Well, it's probably going to be jammed in there, right? I have no opinion uh, or knowledge to know how packed it will be. He has no idea. I don't think he knows. Listen, hold me down, rub my feet, and eat tacos with me. Let's go. Okay. T um. Yeah, you know what? That's going to be a problem. I don't want to drive there and just do a stream if we're not able to sit there. And it might be very busy. So maybe we won't do that. Um, what I might do though, depending on how I feel, I, I'm going to go definitely take a break, go eat dinner, but I might come back around, I would say nine 30 tonight and, uh, stream again. And maybe we can go take a walk. It's pretty nice out now. The rain has stopped, but this place just opened. So I don't. I don't want to go in there with the camera yet and all that crap. Um, if it's busy, we can't even sit in there. So it'll just be me standing in a fucking parking lot going like, Hey guys, you, you like tacos? You guys like tacos? So, maybe I'll be back. If I'm back, you guys will see me streaming around 930. I probably will be back because I don't have much to do tonight. But I'm going to go eat now. Take a break. Eat. And then I'll be back later. I'd say 85% chance. If I don't show back up, then there's there's been a horrible car accident and ones gets to eat all the brownies. Cole Zilla says diabetic brown diabetic brownies. I love them. So thank you for everyone today. It looks like Cole Zilla is gonna be the last guy on this stream at least. He he takes it. He takes it. Deal with it. Alice, thank you. Left Control, thank you. One's Two Cents, thank you. Cheetah Man, thank you. Terrence, thank you. Uh, Bartman, appreciate you. DS9, thank you. Natsu says birds. Macaque says uh, 
40s is no th- the new 30s. Listen, I dye my beard, so I don't have to worry about that. Cheetah Man, thank you. Tower Dragon, thank you. We've got Alice, thank you. Alice, listen. Go take a shit and message me. Real spoilers, thank you, dude. Appreciate you. Ace Grab, what's going on? Surge, you goddamn legend. Appreciate you. Alan Jones, thank you. Beast, 91, love you. Living legend, thank you, dude. Yeah, living legend. Have fun at your party, dude. Uh, Justin Aru. Breastfeed it to me. Uh, Cannibal, thank you for watching. P. Claire, appreciate you, P. Claire. Viperize, thank you so much for what you did at the beginning of the stream. Colezilla. Colezilla. Diabetic brownies huzzah. Colezilla takes it. Thank you. Macaque, appreciate you. Patrick Audio, you gotta get help for what you gotta get help for that. You gotta get help for that, buddy. I'm not gonna hold you down and, and put it in you, okay? Frank, thank you, man. Jago. Jagaba, thank you, dude. Holy cow. I didn't know where you were here. Juicy Boots, you goddamn legend. Beast, thank you. MRC, thank you. Paul the Alien, Juicy Boots. Freddy Cougar, where have you been? You're fired. You're Congratulations. Fired. There you go. Cole, thank you for being the last super chat of the stream. Mistaken says, leaving already? I'll be back later tonight. We're probably going to do a late stream. So get ready for that. Probably starting around 9, 9.30. But it'll be vertical. Just like Ones and I when we sleep together. Congratulations. So. <laughs> mistaken. Thank you, Mistaken. That's for you. Paul the Alien. D Hat, what's up, man? says love love you jay for real these streams are helping me mentally listen i'm glad they're helping you dude really honestly dude appreciate it sounds stupid as it sounds for both of us what do you mean both of you there's two people there oh paul the alien just donated and says probes thank you paul the alien appreciate you on that one dude thank you for all the support today by the way thank you to Everybody that gifted a membership today, which has been crazy. We started with Mr. Awesome and Viperize. Viperize gifted 50 subs and put us at 1,700 subs total. So thank you so much for that, man. It's like, I mean, I don't know what to say about it. It's like mind-blowing. So thank you so much, guys. Paul the Alien stole it. I'll be back later tonight streaming from my phone. We might take a walk tonight. Just a simple walk around. I just don't know how the internet works in some of the areas if not i'm gonna do a vertical stream later tonight and we'll i'm not exactly sure what we're gonna do later but it might just be a hangout we might walk around we don't know no one never knows i need to actually get some exercise in here so thank you guys appreciate you see you later tonight love you guys all of you great what well, wait thank you paul Wolfbane, thank you, dude. Is a magic man. He makes all that chili Alice, thank you. For me when he loves my brown holes, oh, sensually. I need Dr. Sexy Coco to make See you guys later. <laughs> Robo Taco, Nish, Juicy Booch Part Man. If I didn't have to eat dinner, I wouldn't leave. Love you guys. Love you. Thanks for tuning in today. I'll be back tomorrow at 2 p.m., but also probably tonight. Viper Eyes, this is for you. Oh, Christopher. Congratulations. Congratulations. Uh. Uh.
You blew it. Christopher. Christopher. Who what? Who what? Are you smoking your socks? Uh, uh.